this corruption in Lagos State can no longer be hidden. London-based Nigeria woman Adetutu Balogun has accused Lagos State House of Assembly Speaker Modashiru Obasa, the national leader of the All Progressive Congress, Ashwajubola Metinumbu, of looting the state treasury on a daily basis. It is not a news that Ashwaju Bola Metinumbu has made a lot of money from Lagos State. In fact, they said he is the largest landowner. And aside this, also, there are a lot of corrupt allegations, corruption allegations that has been attached to him. What will become of him, I don't know, in this present administration or um, pre administrations to come. He is known as the chairman of the Bullion Van uh, Gang. He, he is known to bring in Bullion Van a day before election. And he said, do I work for the government? Do I, um, am I occupying any government position? I'm a private individual with my money. I can bring my money in wherever I want and do what I want with it. That being said, Aditutu, who paraded herself as the minister of information in dias in di and diaspora on Twitter, revealed via a tweet that Lagos State House of Assembly Speaker approved a sum of 258 million naira for the printing of invitation cards for the induction ceremony of lawmakers 60 days after the event took place. Now, Sarah reporters also revealed what this man um, en got himself engaged in, this mother Shiru Obasa. It seems to be like the rest of them, an epitome, like, 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 the, when you talk about corruption, it seems to be on the apex of it. This Mudashiru is said to have um, cornered a huge amount of money that has been set aside, I think about five, 58 million naira, that was supposed allocated for the lawmakers to travel to the United States of America, and they couldn't. But this lawmaker went there with his mistress, and the money is unaccounted for. Many other corrupt corruption allegation has been you know pointed in the direction of this man and he has debunked one or two but we know that the reality of it is uh, that they are all criminals they are all co co common criminals that's what they are i need to aside to reveal this information about the invitation cards for the induction ceremony of lawmakers uh, the invitation card is 258 million naira. what are they printing the, the, the woman also stated in her Twitter post that the former governor of the state, Bola Betudubu, and his political um, goons are stealing from the treasury of the state daily. That we know. Bola Betudubu has taken over majority, majority of the businesses that comes from the government. And this goes into his pocket. They even said that he is involved in many of the billboards. The advert come to him. And that is the one that his, his children take. Um, that, that's the job that his children do. That's what they, they, a lot of things. That is the tweet of the woman. Lagos Assembly Speaker Obasa approves 258 million naira for printing of invitation cards for house inauguration two months after even after event held. 258 million naira for printing. To the one his boys are looting Lagos daily. A Koti budget, not a Kodi budget. And that's a, a shot of it being payment approved for the printing of invitation cards. The inauguration of the ninth assembly as per the speaker's approval and you can see these people are just approving whatever it is that they find lay their hands on they're just approving and writing millions of naira this is serious the receipt of the payment which shows that the fund was processed on the directives of the speaker was also attached to our tweet the said inauguration of the ninth assembly with 34 returning members and six new members took place last year, June. But the receipt which was issued, uh, which was used for the release of the fund, was dated back August 7, 2019. What is going on? Now, a lot of Nigerians reacted to this, definitely. People are going to react to this sort, these criminal activities, criminal actions of this group of people. What kind of crime? What, what is really going on here? How long shall we continue? In sin, and we continue. We, we say, um, okay, there is grace, great about. So, when you say Tinubu represents a whole lot of negativity to Nigeria development and growth, and I want to say, Lobato, oh my god, this man is a thief, a thief, and that is what it is. 
I don't want to say the that Obasai is grossly incorrupt. It seems as if his stomach is full of corruption. So when he speaks, he speaks corruption. Wherever he moves, it smells of corruption. Land okay. Then I don't want to say Alaji Tinubu for president come 2023. Tinubu na Banza Walai, a useless con artist. Let him look them dry. They are the ones fanning his whims and also clapping for him. I don't want to say a koti baje is an underrated statement. We never see anything yet. Can't I print these cards? Who is printing these cards? Are these cards going to be printed with gold? I mean, real gold. What is the paper? What is going to be written on it? I don't want to say only two, one chop from the yam. I don't want to say, I hope you're getting the print this printing contract. Another person say, see gold. All right, let's leave that. Baby, they borrowed the body for inauguration. The speaker is trying to reform. Nigeria, my country, anything can have happen. And I don't want to say, I will lay. Only Buruku. Okay, no wonder Lagos State is against the Freedom of Information Bill. The things that will be revealed there, Body Loan Empire. I am suspecting, and I want to believe that the contracts might have gone into the pocket of Bola Ashwaju, Tinubu Jagaban, the Bullion Van Gang, and his family and his children. They are the ones that will be printing this bogus, this lie of a card. This is happening under a government that claims to fight corruption and some idiots, set of humans, come online to defend these people every day. We are not ready in this country. And I will say, Ikodonkas, and I will say, Jesu. Now, all these reactions are good. All these reactions are good. Um, and I will say, everybody is shouting to Numbu, to Numbu this, to Numbu that. When all these shits are happening in the north or east, they cover themselves up. But come to our side here, we open ourselves up like, like I imagine how we'll cope if we even split self. Now, that is the kind of talk that we don't want to hear. If the people in the north are covering up us, in the east as he claimed or wherever, does, is that a criteria that other states should keep quiet? Now, I'm not say this is the reason the south is still successful. Do you want to experience the north? Zafara is the poorest state in Nigeria. Go online and get the GDP of each state. The south feeds the north. Guess what? They are, there are minerals in the north to make them wealth, wealthy, but the people there... They have kept quiet. So that's a response to that young man. That's a young dude talking nonsense. I don't know who, who brought this, what, what, what kind of value system exists in this kind of young people or this group of people. Now, now I said they also invited the host of Evud. Where? Who are they inviting? Where is this card going to? Why is this amount? You know, so we are we cursed, cursed in this nation? And Abra was owing years of salary, pensions, and gratuity. Peter P came, changed the narrative. Look at Makinde is doing that in Oyo. Zulum is also doing as well. Guys, governance is not recognized. Our leaders have sold their conscience. Uh, that's it. When people have sold their conscience, they become unrepentant, and that's what is happening right now. It's it's a terrible thing. Another person said they never had a conscience to start with. It is that bad. My heart bleeds for this nation. Whenever I see how well Zulu is doing the burn say, I so much love that man. These people prove if they want to do the right thing, they can't. They just purposely, purposely do not. So unfortunate. Please, why is a signature? Please, why is a signature stamp? This is from Sarah Reporter. They have been posting different scandals. So, what's your take about this? Another person, this is the invitation card to the marriage of the super lamb after of the Lord's Supper after rapture, a Koti Bajetic pair. Now, that's just what it is. This group of people, they are just a bunch of criminals. Another person say he just printed his invitation to hell. He just printed his invitation to hell. That is what they call total definition of corruption. And um, I don't know. Another person say the whistleblower just gave you a hint. You want full payment voucher? Oh, God. Let him discredit this information or sue as they always threaten. There have been too many allegations of mis of uh, of misappropriation against him he should speak now silence could be admittance in some cases you obviously don't know how how vouchers work many times the amount written where the two five eight million is the amount remaining in the in that vote while the amount at the right side of the v is the contract amount also written in word so he is right to say this might be misleading thanks it's unfortunate to see that people just choose to believe what fits their prejudice while I'm not. Uh, all right, people. Uh, what, what, what do you? What's your take about this? Some say God will judge. God will judge them. Which God is going to judge them? Let the judgment begin from you. By educating yourself, realizing what is wrong around you, and acting. That is just what it is. 
Now, someone say, can Obasa print 215 million worth of invitation cards for his child's wedding? And some bastards are bent on defending these useless APC robbers. 5,000 cards at 5,000 Naira. One is just 25 M. What is going on? Is a card 25 million Naira. What is really going on here? This is unbelievable. So, what's your take? What's your take about this? They are printing invitation card for this humongous amount of money? I don't believe it. This is too much. 258 million era for printing what are they printing they will still come out they know they are accountants they are going to come up with some bogus many of them are lawyers some of them are they are they are pressmen they are going to come up with some bogus calculations and we are waiting for them